Hello, my name is Paula Coates and I'm the Deputy Superintendent for Johnston County Public Schools. The purpose of our presentation is to provide our families with additional information about the virtual program and to address some frequently asked questions that have come to our office. Presenting with me... Hi, I'm Suzanne Mitchell, Curriculum, Instruction and Accountability Officer for Johnston County Public Schools. Hi, I am Renee Keith. I am a social emotional learning interventionist with Johnston County Public Schools. Hello, I'm Ashley Radford, Director of Exceptional Children's Programs with Johnston County Public Schools. Johnston County Public Schools understands and empathizes with our families who may feel uncomfortable sending their students back to school this fall. In an effort to meet the instructional needs of our students while protecting their health and well-being, we are offering an entirely virtual learning option for fall 2020. This virtual program is offered only to students currently enrolled in a Johnston County Public School. If you are interested in this program and are not currently enrolled in a Johnston County Public School, please contact the school your child would attend based on your address in order to enroll. Students enrolled in the virtual program remain enrolled in their current school. Because they are enrolled in that school, those students may participate in all co-curricular and extracurricular activities associated with their school. Students will experience a daily schedule that may include live sessions, recorded sessions, and independent practice activities. Students will have the flexibility to work at their own pace and schedule during the day, but should expect some learning experiences for which they will need to be in attendance at a specific time. Instruction may be delivered using Canvas, Google Classroom, or another digital program that assists with aiding online instruction. In Johnston County Public Schools, your child will be provided with a daily schedule by the teacher. We also understand the need for flexibility as we strive to meet the individual needs of our families during this pandemic. Our teachers are aware that while all of our students are accountable for learning the content and completing assignments, flexibility will be needed for some students who need to access the content at a time different from the standard schedule. Students in the virtual program will be taught by Johnston County Public Schools certified teachers. All curriculum materials, including devices, will be provided by the school, and the virtual program does require a commitment for the entire fall semester. What is the difference between the virtual program and Plan C. The main difference between the virtual program and Plan C is the commitment made by the family for the entire semester. By choosing the virtual program, families are committing to at-home learning throughout the fall semester. By not registering for the program, families are following the plan determined by the Board of Education, which is based on the governor's orders and the health and safety data provided to us by the Department of Health and Human Services. At any time during the semester, Plan C could change to Plan B and even to Plan A, and students enrolled in those plans would follow the change as directed by our Board of Education and state leaders. When is the last day to register my child for the virtual program? We are requesting that all parents commit to the virtual program by July 31st to allow principals as much time as possible for planning. I registered my child for the virtual program and now that I have more information, I would like to remove my child from the program. What should I do? You should contact your child's school to remove them from the virtual program if your child is in grades K through five. If your child is in grades 6 through 12, contact Elizabeth Dahlman at this email address. If I begin with blended face-to-face -face instruction and then decide I would like my child to be fully virtual, will I be able to register? 
Principals will use the registration numbers from the end of the day on July 31st to assign teachers to the virtual program and to assign teachers to the face-to-face -face blended model. Families are asked to commit to their choice for an entire semester. After the commitment date of July 31st, requests for change must be approved by the deputy superintendent. Virtual program instruction, frequently asked questions. Who will teach my child if I choose the virtual program? Because our virtual programs are housed within each school, principals at each school will determine who is teaching in the virtual program. To the extent possible, students will be assigned one or more teachers from their current school of enrollment. In rare circumstances, students may be assigned to teachers from a different school. In this case, there will be clear communication of student needs and progress, as well as clear methods of communication between you and the teacher at the assigned school. What courses are offered in the virtual program? We would like to offer all courses in the virtual program, but some courses that require a significant amount of hands-on experiences are not recommended for the virtual environment. Your child's school has that list. When will I know my child's schedule or teachers if I choose the virtual program? Because the virtual programs are run through the base school of enrollment, this information will come from your school in early August. What level of support will I be expected to provide for my child during the school day? Students will need varying levels of support depending on their age and which courses they might be assigned. Typically, younger children need closer supervision and assistance. This support might be provided by a parent, guardian, grandparent, older sibling, or other members of the child's support system. Due to our schedule, my child might not be able to log in at a specific time. Will he or she be penalized? No, not at all. Principals and teachers understand that flexibility is needed in order to meet the needs of our families in the current environment. Although your child's school will set the schedule for instruction, we will make accommodations as needed, including recording lessons to meet those needs. Will instruction in the virtual program be similar to that from the spring? No. School this spring was an emergency closure with directives issued by state officials regarding instruction for the remainder of the school year. In the virtual program and in the blended model for fall of 2020, families should expect grading, attendance, and a blend of live instruction, recorded instruction, and independent learning. What platform will be used for instruction? Teachers will utilize Google Classroom or Canvas for their learning platform. Johnston County Public Schools has purchased ClassLink, which provides student access to instructional materials with a single username and password. Students, teachers, and parents will not have to remember multiple logins with the purchase of this resource. Will my child be provided with the necessary books and learning materials? Is there a supply list for the virtual program? Instructional materials, books, and devices will be provided to all students who choose the virtual program. Any supply list for the virtual program will be communicated by your child's teacher. A schedule for material pickup will be provided by each child's school. We hear a lot of parents who recognize that school and education is more than academics and want to know how social and emotional learning opportunities are possible via a virtual platform. As a social and emotional interventionist who is extremely passionate about educating the whole child, I love that parents recognize the importance of social and emotional learning in education. I greatly respect that parents want to know Will my child have opportunities to build relationships, collaborate, feel supported by a community, and have the opportunity to contribute to a classroom community? 
Many of the questions and concerns we hear from parents who are trying to make the best decision for their child's education falls under the social and emotional framework that Johnston County Public Schools has adopted from the leading source of evidence-based research from the Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning. These are the SEO competencies for all of Johnston County Public Schools, including students who enroll in our Johnston County Public School Virtual Program. You can see how these competencies are many of the things parents are concerned about and want to ensure that their child can experience and learn in a virtual setting. Will virtual classrooms allow for building relationships with teachers and peers? Just as our virtual teachers will continue to provide high quality academic instruction and follow curriculum standards, they will work in creative ways to establish relationships within their virtual classrooms. At the beginning of each school year or semester for high school students, teachers spend intentional time establishing relationships with their students and creating a classroom climate and community that will maximize learning. Our virtual teachers will do the same. They will get to know your child as a person, not just a name on a roster. Establishing relationships and community is possible via virtual platforms. Will virtual classrooms allow opportunities for social interaction among peers? While it will look different for traditional school settings, virtual platforms can still encourage social interaction. Our teachers have learned a lot about online education platforms this summer, and our digital professional development team is constantly releasing and training on new features that can allow for social interactions. Some ideas may include allowing student-led chat sessions, virtual lunch buddies, morning meetings to facilitate social development, a classroom peer buddy that encourages students to talk outside of instruction times, virtual games that allow for social interaction while making learning content fun and relevant. There are countless ways that our virtual academy teachers can make sure your child has opportunities for social interaction. Will virtual students have opportunities to learn how to collaborate with others? Our teachers and digital professional development department are always discovering new ways to allow for collaboration in virtual classrooms. A few ideas to allow students to collaborate virtually are discussion boards, this also allows for students to develop social awareness skills, such as respecting diversity, learning to respect views that are different from their own, learning to respect people that maybe they disagree with. Virtual education platforms allow for teachers to break classes into small groups to discuss ideas and work together, and then pull all the students back together for whole group discussions. Exceptional Children Programs Frequently Asked Questions My child is in the Exceptional Children's Program. Can I enroll them in the virtual program? Yes. If a district closes its schools to slow or stop the spread of COVID-19 and continues to provide educational opportunities to general education student populations, the schools must ensure that students with disabilities also have equal access to the same opportunities. Will my child receive their EC services? Absolutely. During the COVID-19 pandemic, schools must implement the IEP of a student with a disability to the greatest extent possible. Services will target goals and objectives on your child's IEP. Data will be collected to ensure students are maintaining skills and progressing where appropriate, and changes will be made if regression is noted. Your school will schedule an IEP meeting to discuss, collaborate, and make changes as needed, as well as to develop a contingency plan for remote learning during remote learning participation. We are working together to best ensure that in light of these current circumstances, our special education students are receiving a free, appropriate public education, while also protecting the health and safety of students, educators, and service providers. My child is in the reevaluation process. Where will their testing take place? 
Initial evaluations and reevaluations will be scheduled and conducted face to face at your child's school or at a county office location with a school psychologist or other required evaluator. Who should I contact if I have any questions regarding my child's IEP? Parents should direct questions about their child's special education services to the case manager at your child's school, related service providers, and or your child's school principal. In summary, register online on the virtual program page on the Johnston County Public Schools website by July 31st. Information specific to your student's personal daily experience in the virtual program will be provided by your child's school once the principal makes final staffing decisions. This information should be expected at orientation. And if you have withdrawn your child from Johnston County Public Schools, we want you back. Please reach out to your child's principal to discuss options to meet your needs. Lastly, please know that our principals and teachers are committed to excellence in instruction for all students in the 2021 school year. Beginning in the fall, we will return to rigorous content delivery and the high student expectations that you have come to expect from Johnston County Public Schools. We hope that this information has been helpful to you and we thank you so much for your time.